Recent surveys have shown that only 5% of Oklahoma beef producers are participating in value-added marketing programs. Here to talk about that is Ag Economist Eric DeVeest. Eric, are these producers just leaving money on the table? That's, that's right. The, the research consistently shows that, that um, participating in, in preconditioning programs with third-party verification can add up to $6 or even more of premiums onto people's uh, feeder calves. All right, now you, you and the team you work with have developed a tool to help people figure out exactly what they're looking at with the different programs. Talk us through some of the numbers. What are the folks that, we've got calves that are halfway through getting ready to be marketed this summer. Uh, what are we looking at there? Well, one of the strategies that these producers are looking at using would be a long weaning strategy. That'd be they'd, they'd take them into June. These calves might be 10 months old before they're weaned, so they're putting some pounds on them while they're at the mother's side. And then they might take them to grass or precondition them, put them on grass, maybe do a feedlot. And so we've run the numbers on that strategy, and what, what it comes down to is we, we, we consistently show that preconditioning pays. And so they're looking at about $29 a head right now as we look into the, into the fall if they precondition or into the summer. If they precondition them and, and sell them after 45 days and two rounds of vaccinations through a, a third-party uh, process verification, they can pick up that $29. Then if they take them and put them on grass, right now that's not penciling out for them. That's looking at basically wiping out the gains that they would have made by uh, preconditioning them. But that all depends on how much they're paying for that grass and, and, and uh, what kind of gains they're going to get there. Um, some scenarios we're seeing the feedlots are actually penciling out profits, but that's going to depend on just what those gains are when they're in the feedlot. Um, right now, these, these calves that, that are at their mama's side from, from last fall, doesn't look like they're going to be uh, penciling out to much of a profit in the feedlot. So what we're looking at for these, these uh, fallborn calves is precondition them, get them enrolled in a uh, process verification like Oklahoma Quality Beef Network, Talk to your uh, county extension agent. He can he can direct you to those resources. Okay. Now, and, and those are general numbers based on some averages. But we've got uh, we've got a tool online where you can actually put in your local numbers to find out what works right for you. Right. We've got a software program. It's built around Excel where the producers can drop in their their values, what they think is going to happen. It automatically will download prices from the internet for them, so they don't have to look up futures prices, and it'll project what their profits are going to be. If you want to take a look at that calculator and input your own numbers, you can visit our website, sunup.okstate.edu. We'll also have a look at the numbers for springborn calves here in 2010.